everyone, this is Kate Monaco with part two of how to play Autumn Leaves. Uh, the part two I'm going to talk about um, a couple of substitutions I use in the beginning of the song and also at the end. So the first one is the technique called side Sidestepping. This is a technique that um, our Tatum used to use. And all it is is if, for example, I'm going to the key of B flat and I'm playing a 2 5 1, right? C minor, F7, and a B flat uh, 7. What I do is take the chromatic note above the C and do the 2 5 in that key and then quickly move it to the key I want to do it. So it sounds like this, right? Right? So all I did was take a C sharp um, minor seven, right? To the five, which is a F sharp seven, then move it to the two five and B flat. C to the C minor, and then the F minor. This causes um, tension and it's a great technique to variate your melodies. Uh, records that use uh, this technique will be uh, Winton Kelly's uh, version of this song of Autumn Leaves and also Kenny Barron's uh, version of the song. I'm going to play that uh, head with the uh, substitutions. Again, chromatic E to the E flat major seven. Another tension by sidestep into the chromatic note above it. Now another substitution I'd like to go over is the ending, which is just a A minor uh, seven with a flat five. Okay, and how the bebop players like Barry Harris and. Um, Monk and but Powell used to think of the minor seven flat five was they would actually think of it as a C minor, all right, with a six in the bass, which is the A, and that would allow you to play all the C minor notes in the right hand and keep the six in the bass, okay, therefore varying the the um voice it for it okay so they will put the a minor seven again to the d minor and the g seven i mean to the d seven and the g seven but for that end what i like to substitute for the a minor flat five is as soon as i play that I play the flat five, which is an E flat, E flat, and I play an E flat seven to the D before I play the G minor seven. And, um, <coughs> sorry, and this is a technique used by um, Herbie Hancock, whereby he takes the um, flat, sev uh, flat seven, and then actually play that note, you know, and then move it chromatically 
to the uh, D, D7, okay? So that's an N. I'll, I'll show you how it sounds, right? Instead of going to the D, we go to E flat seven. This voice then has the ninth in it. Okay. When you finally end, you can actually change that to a G minor sus, like a, a, a G sus with the ninth in it. like a G minor with the 11th and the 9th. Let's play the tune again from the beginning with my changes. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this lesson. There will be more coming lessons so stay tuned and uh, give me a request at kbenyakumusic at gmail.com. I'll be sure to get to your request immediately. So this is Autumn Leaves in the key of B flat.